These are the three best website structures to use for your local affiliate or lead gen SEO sites in order to effectively rank for the city plus service keywords that you're trying to rank for. Hey everyone, Matt Wasik here. Welcome back to a brand new video and I want to lay out the structures for the three different styles of website that we build where we can rank for local keywords in order to grab that super targeted traffic that is going to be monetized when someone either makes a phone call from our website or sends their information through the contact form. Because when that occurs, we get paid either a commission from an affiliate network if it is routed to a network, or if you work out a deal with a local company who will purchase those calls and leads, you will get paid directly from them. So a lot of people have been asking in the comments and on Facebook in our group, what are the different structures and how do you go about it? What's the differences between the structures and also what are the pros and cons of each different structure in addition to the softwares that I recommend to use for it. Because if you do some of these builds manually, it's going to take a crap ton of time. And frankly, your time is probably worth more to just pay whatever X amount it is per month for the software than spending hundreds and thousands of hours building out content on every single page. So let's hop into my computer and take a look at these structures and the pros and cons and everything else. All right, so to start things off, the first structure is one that I've mentioned many times on the channel, and that's because it is the most beginner friendly to build and to rank because of the fact that the majority of the duration of the ranking process, you're going to be trying to rank just one page on this particular site. And what you're gonna be doing when you're building it is using the MVP strategy. So you're really only building a home page, and that's the only page that you're going to build aside from request a quote. TOS privacy policy pages, which I covered all in a previous video, which is the MVP structure video. So either there'll be a link above or down below, click that, go watch it. it's right here on YouTube. That way you'll understand the MVP process and what I'm referring to here. And the absolute best thing about a single city site is that it's going to be able to dominate an entire city for that entire niche. But like with anything with SEO, it's going to take a little bit of time. But if you're following the MVP strategy and you're aggressive with your links, it will not take as long as you may think, depending on the niche, depending on the competition, depending on getting sandboxed and all that sort of stuff. But for the most part, these are going to be one of the fastest sites to rank. Now, let's say we're going to build a site that is going to generate electrician leads or electrical contracting leads. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the homepage all about electrician in whatever city it is. So let's just say, I don't know, Chattanooga, Tennessee. What I would highly recommend doing if you're a beginner is be looking for a city in the population range of anywhere between 15 to 25,000 on the low end, upwards of maybe a hundred to 200,000 population, assess the competition in the search results and see what you're going up against to see what your approximate budget would be and also how much time it may take because there are so many different variables from city to city and that sort of stuff. But for just this example, we're just going to go with electrician in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So the goal with this particular site is to rank for electrician in Chattanooga. So we're going to build the basic one homepage, then request a quote TOS privacy policy pages, and that's it. We're going to then spend a few months building links and building up the trust and authority. And then we're going to expand this site to other services in Chattanooga and Chattanooga only. And these are gonna be pages for ceiling fan installation, generator installation, installing or replacing light bulbs, light fixtures, all that sort of stuff. And each one of these are super optimized for the one city and one city only. The only time you want to be adding other cities to a single city site is after this site is already dominating for all of these services in this city, including electrician, including all the other subservices underneath, is in the footer, you can list out the service area and include some cities with their zip codes because eventually Google will crawl and it'll see that your site is so high authority that you'll be able to maybe rank for some of those other neighboring cities for electrician or for ceiling fan installation, for generator installation or whatever niche you're working in. You can do that, but you only want to do that after the site has the rankings in place and everything and has a lot of trust and authority, then you can add it to the footer. And so what that allows you to do is really get a lot of reach in one particular city. And there is a slight con to a single city site is that you may not be able to rank at the top of page one for electrician in 
Jasper, Tennessee or something like that. I think that's a neighboring city to Chattanooga. If you mention it on the footer for the service area, you may not rank there number one, but you'll have some presence and be able to grab more traffic from those areas as well. But that's one of the downfalls with single city sites is that they are limited with their reach. You can't necessarily build out a 500 page site that's gonna rank for hundreds of cities with one of these particular sites and they're just not set up for it. The goal with one of these sites is to go in with your MVP, get it ranking for the main homepages keyword and then branch it out and then it's kind of at its peak right there once you have it branched out to all the services that fall under the category of that particular niche and having first page rankings for all those then you're kind of tapped out then what you want to do is just make sure you're maintaining your rankings and watching the traffic and conversions come in and eventually sell the site that's at least my goal that may not be yours but that's what my goal is with all of my sites now the next structure is another one i've discussed many times here on the channel which is a multi-city structured local seo site so the tool i use with this is magic page plugin i've used other tools out there and frankly magic page plugin is the most comprehensive one out there the way that the software is used is what the structure is i'm going to describe on in this particular video if you have a software that you like then go ahead and use it the way that you're building a magic page plugin site is going to be completely different than a single city site so the best results that you're going to be able to get with one of these sites is not trying to go necessarily at least unless you have a big budget for links and you have a lot of patience to wait for ranking you're going to want to go for a sub service underneath the category. So for example, in the lawn care niche, this would be something like lawn aeration. So you're gonna have the domain be all about lawn aeration, and let's say we're gonna target the state of Tennessee. So what you're gonna do is build out your MVP, which I covered in the previous videos with one of these sites, and you're gonna build that out and do the trust and authority, do everything that you need to do, until you can see it ranking for Lawn Aeration Tennessee or whatever it is service in the state. And then what you do is you put to work whatever your chosen plugin is going to be for building out hundreds of city pages. So it's going to build out pages for aeration in Nashville, Chattanooga, and Murfreesboro, all these other cities that are in this entire state, whatever the ranges that you've selected within Magic Page Plugin or whatever tool it is that you're using. And one thing that you wanna be prepared for is yes, you may be ranking for the service in the state keyword. However, it's likely not going to be very competitive for a lot of niches and a lot of different services in state type keywords than when you compare it to that particular service in a major city, like Nashville is going to be one that's going to require probably some additional links to the Nashville page in order to be able to rank for that particular keyword. But the beauty with using a tool like Magic Page Plugin where it allows being able to add an entire Spintax article into the software fully integrated with Elementor Pro, you can build out hundreds of city pages that are all unique to one another with the effort that it would take to build roughly three to four to five pages worth of content if you're writing it out manually. That is why I stress so much to use a software like this that allows the content to be able to be completely unique across the entire site. And that's the best thing about building out one of these types of sites. Now eventually if you have the budget in order to be able to do something for lawn care in Tennessee, then you can certainly do that. But I would really recommend sticking to one of the small services that are underneath that category until you have a budget and the patience and overall just have the experience in ranking bigger websites and get that experience before trying to step up and go for something competitive like lawn care or electrician or any of the broad term keywords with a magic page plugin site and so really the only what you could call a downfall or not even really that bad at all because you can just go build another site really rapidly you can only really target one service per site but that's not a big deal because with the effort that it takes to build roughly six pages plus your additional necessary pages like request code tos all that you can rank for hundreds of cities for that one service so i don't even call that a negative that you only have to do one service per site because with building directories using city page pro it's the exact same concept and that's what we're going to get into here in a second so in my opinion that's not even really a downfall that's just how the software is built just use it to your advantage and build as many of these sites as you can and they're really not going to take a whole lot of effort to rank especially for some of the suburbs and that sort of stuff where the competition level is not that high and i know i covered a ton of information with magic page plugin thus far as well single city sites if you have questions on any of these leave a comment down below now the third structure for any effective local affiliate seo site is going to be a directory so the main reason is because of the structure with the urls is incredibly clean meaning it's extremely easy for google bots to crawl the site and they're going to really like it and they're going to favor you with a reward 
of getting ranked on ideally the first page. So the particular tool that I use to build my directory sites is City Page Pro, and there are other ones out there. If you like them, then go right ahead. There are also WordPress themes that allow directory style setup, but the reason I like City Page Pro is because it pulls data from all the local businesses and it will build out individual business pages for for companies in where city pages are being built and i had a lot of questions regarding how city page pro sites are monetized so what you do with this particular software is you build a featured listing and it's all right there in the software it's very simple you're just inputting text this will put a listing at the very top of the list and it'll have a little banner on it that says featured listing and you input information with the name the phone number which then makes it clickable and then you can put a little bit of content in there and you can use short codes for the city state and zip code so you can throw in that exact keyword into your content mix in with some of the attention grabbing questions and then your calls to action as well so that is how you can do that currently at this very point in time here in early 2020 it is a global feature that when you add one featured listing it goes across all of the city pages so it works best with an affiliate network but in the future that feature may be available where you can have one featured listing for or whatever particular city it is and you could rent that out to a local business or you could sell the leads directly to a local business or whatever you want to do with your monetization strategy now the reason directory sites are so awesome is because the structure is incredibly clean it's going to be the website domain you're going to have at least with city page pro it's going to be usa and then the state and then the city let's do min for minneapolis there extremely extremely clean structure when google spots crawl they're going to really like it and they're going to index it as well so that's one of the best things about it and with city page pro if you're really working at it and you are versed in the software it'll probably take you less than 10 minutes maybe even less than five minutes to build one of these sites that eventually it will take some time it will rank for thousands of keywords across the entire country but it just takes some time for the bots to crawl it and there's just a lot of information that needs to be crawled with these particular sites and that's the beauty with that. So what you want to be doing is picking one service and one service only for your city page pro sites. So that could be something like ceiling fan installation. And what you're going to basically do is ceiling fan installation directory for the home page. And then you follow the instructions within the software to set up the city pages for ceiling fan installation in Minneapolis, for example, and on and on and so forth. And the software does all of the work in terms of switching out the city names and that sort of stuff. And being as it is a directory, it's just an information hub. It, it frankly just works extremely, extremely well. And you only had to put 30 minutes or maybe at most an hour if it's one of your first times building one of these sites into building out a site that eventually is going to rank for thousands of keywords. So very, very, very simple website structure to build. So those are the three structures for any effective local affiliate SEO site. A lot of people ask, what's the best structure to build? And it really comes down to your experience level and how much patience you have to see a return for your investment on your time and your resources put into building and ranking one of these sites. So if you're someone who's never built a website before, single city site is going to be hands down the simplest one to get started with. Get the experience of building and ranking five or 10 of these sites before you move up to the multi-page with Magic Page plugin or a directory site with City Page Pro. And City Page Pro is extremely easy. You really wouldn't even necessarily have to be an expert at building websites or anything like that because the software does all of the work. There are costs associated. I know there are a lot of people that do not have necessarily the budget yet to afford City Page Pro sites and being able to build them and being able to be patient for a few months while those sites age before they start generating any form of return. So in my portfolio of sites, which is continuing to grow every single day, I have one of each kind of these sites and I add more and more of them because they all are great. They all work. They all have great advantages, especially with the single city sites because you can get in and get ranking within a month or two. Whereas with some of these other bigger sites, it may take a bit of time to even get them indexed. And then, But then once they do index, you can then start to see rankings climb up, especially if you're actively building links. So I recommend all of these. But again, if you're a beginner, start off with single city, get your feet wet, and then step on up to magic page plugin city page pro and have the resources and patience to build a bigger site for the state focused keywords as well as the bigger cities with that said if you have any questions on these structures be sure to go down below leave a comment let me know and also if you liked this type of video and you like this type of content these tutorials go down below smash that like button And if you want to stay up to date on my business journey with all the information i share here on my channel all the content i share go down below and smash that subscribe and also hit the bell for notifications so you know when all the newest content comes live and if you want to get guided step-by-step -step training on how to build sites just like these and how to rank them and monetize them with a local affiliate offer 
There are links right down below to our courses where you can get access to this training and a whole lot more. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next video.